When cooking in the kitchen, it's very important to use the best tools for the job. This will ensure maximum flavor as well as optimal textures. Hi, my name is Alexis, and today we're going to talk about the difference between three common household pans. Let's start with a nonstick pan. This is probably the most common pan for beginner cooks. These are fairly inexpensive, and due to their nonstick surface, they're super easy to clean. To increase the longevity of your pan, you need to ensure that you're taking proper care of the nonstick surface. For example, when you're making scrambled eggs, you should always be using silicone or wooden tools, and that goes for all other dishes as well. To get the best results from your nonstick pan, we recommend you cook delicate dishes like eggs, pancakes, grilled cheese, and lighter fish such as tilapia. Proteins like steak, chicken thighs, burgers, or salmon aren't ideal for a nonstick pan as those require high heat. If you're looking for easy cleanup and don't want to make dishes that require high heat, this is the pan for you. So now let's talk about cast irons. I think everybody should own one of these pans. Cast iron pans are exceptionally versatile. These sturdy pans can be used on the stovetop as well as in the oven. Cast iron pans are not only affordable, but if you take proper care of them, they can last for decades. These long-lasting pans can be used to cook an array of dishes, from steak, fruit cobbler, and even frittata. You can cook nearly everything with a cast iron pan, but for beginner cooks, they may seem intimidating. Pans need to be treated before their first use, and the cleanup is more involved than with a nonstick pan. If you're willing to do the cleanup, cast iron pans are a worthwhile addition to any kitchen. Now let's talk about our third and final pan. Stainless steel is without a doubt my favorite pan to use in the kitchen. These pans are built tough, and like cast iron, can be used on the stovetop or in the oven. They're particularly good when you want a nice sear on a protein. You can truly cook everything with a stainless steel pan. Salmon, sauteed vegetables, risotto, and even eggs. The fear around using the stainless steel pan is the idea that food will stick. To prevent this, you need to make sure you're using a preheated pan and the appropriate amount of oil. So here I have two chicken thighs and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make sure your food doesn't stick. First things first, let's preheat the pan. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Once the oil begins to shimmer, I'm going to add the seasoned chicken skin side down. I'm going to let the chicken rest in the pan for a few minutes. Once the chicken begins to pull away from the pan, it should be ready to flip. See, it's so easy. Check out that beautiful golden skin. I'm going to let them brown for a few more minutes on the other side, and then I'm going to finish them off in the oven. After you remove the chicken from the oven, there's going to be some brown bits at the bottom of the pan. This is called the foundation. At this point, you can go ahead and scrub the pan, or what I prefer to do is take advantage of the amazing flavor from the chicken fat and make a really simple pan sauce. Reduce the stock for a few minutes, then add garlic, thyme, and a bit of butter, and stir. Pour the sauce over the chicken, and you've got a great, easy dinner and a clean pan. So, as you can see, stainless steel can do everything that a non-stick and a cast iron can do. In my opinion, it's the most versatile pan out there.